everybody. In the last episode, we discussed five most common causes of yeast infection. Today, we will talk about 32 common signs of yeast infection and how to identify if you have a yeast infection. If you have any questions about signs of yeast infection, just comment below. So let us consider how to know if you have a yeast infection. Yeast overgrowth is one of the most difficult health issues to detect because of the small amount that is present in everywhere. The best way to determine if you have yeast overgrowth is by taking a look at your lifestyle and diet. Do you crave sweets and carbohydrates, experience constant illness, have a mental illness that doesn't respond to medication or generally feel unwell? Chances are you are experiencing yeast overgrowth and need to make some changes to your diet. Here I noted about 32 signs that yeast may have moved in and is slowly taking over your body. If you suffer frequently from more than three of these symptoms, it may be time to learn more about yeast. These are fungal infections on skin or nails, athlete's foot, toenail fungus, fatigue, fibromyalgia, constipation, bloating, diarrhea, bad breath, dry mouth, joint pain, numbness, hair loss, headaches, PMS, heartburn, burning eyes, lack of impulse, control, hyperactivity, poor concentration, brain fog, ADD, ADHD, autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, ulcerative colitis or multiple sclerosis, mood swings, anxiety, depression, strong cravings for sugar or refined carbohydrates, eczema or psoriasis, hives, seasonal allergies or itchy airs, urinary tract infections, vaginal or rectal itching. So what we can do to find out quickly at home before we go for a medical assistance is a spit test. It sounds uh, a little gross, but a spit test offers a really good analysis of what is going on inside your body and may show signs of yeast overgrowth. The best time to take this test is as soon as you wake up and get out of bed. So how to do it? Gather as much spit as possible in your mouth. Spit into a clear glass with room temperature, filtered water. And watch carefully what is happening. The saliva will float at first. Watch to see if there are thin projections extending downward into the water after 15 minutes or so. They may look like hair strings. If this happens, you may have a candida overgrowth problem. If your saliva is very cloudy and sinks to the bottom within a few minutes, or parts of the saliva slowly sink, yeast overgrowth is possible. The particles are yeast colonies which band together. If your spit is still floating after about an hour, it is likely that your yeast is under control, so you don't have it. Please let us know if you find any signs of the infection after watching this video. We can provide additional advice. In the next episode, we will share 
natural therapies explain how to develop a healthy diet for fighting yeast infection in our daily life. If you want to know more, don't forget to subscribe. Check for our next video.